Hello crew, welcome back to the Gaming Ocean TCG channel. Hope everyone's doing well. And in this video, we're diving into a brand new TCG that just released on June 30th of 2023, Shadowverse Evolve. Now, this TCG is something I was looking forward to. This derives from its mobile version, Shadowverse. I myself did play a little bit of Shadowverse back in the day. Not too much. Didn't get too deep into it because it was a mobile game. And I don't tend to play mobile games um, not much anymore. But from the little bit I played, it was fun, interesting, and different. And more than anything, the art is what brought me to it. The cards looked stunning. They looked great. And that's what I liked about it. So I always wonder if this was ever going to get a physical card game. And look what we have here. Shadowverse Evolve. Now, the mobile version and the physical card game do have some differences. One thing is I know the mobile version has eight classes to play with, while the physical card game has six classes. I know that they combine two classes into one to create a new one. So there's that. I know there's other little differences, but we won't get way into that because I myself don't know them very well or know the card game as well as I should. Like I stated, I play a little bit of it, but I do like to showcase TCGs that I find interesting and want to share with everyone. And Shadowverse Evolve is one of them. So that's what we're here to do. Now, like I said, there's six classes in the physical card game. This here is the Runecraft class, Starter Deck Mysteries of Conjuration. And if I remember correctly, this class really revolves around spells and stuff. This is Dragoncraft, Starter Deck Wrath of the Great Worm. Now these might be my favorite because this class really just throws big bodies out there. And just big powers, you know? So we're going to dive in, check the cards out. Maybe read some of the text here and there. Check out the artwork. And see what Shadowverse is, is all about, or Shadowverse Evolve. Let's go ahead and get started. Check out these two starter decks. So let's dive in. Let's uh, grab my little knife here, like always. There's always little plastic pieces here. Just gonna cut that out. We're gonna start with the Ruincraft deck Mysteries of Conjuration. An interesting little note I didn't know, but the physical card game was actually, I think, published, or that was the right word, published by company Bushi Rose or something like that, Bushi Rose. Anyways, from those that made Vanguard, um, Buddy Fight, and Schwartz, if I said that right. Nice. It's nice packaging. So this is the first starter deck, Mysteries of Conjuration, the Runecraft starter deck let's see here so it's a plastic and okay comes down off here and is this okay i see the plastic is okay you actually open it this way huh oh that's kind of cool i like the the packaging nice i think also this is like a 40 to 50 uh you make a 40 to 50 uh card deck so i'll put dragon right here on the side so it looks like this does come with, I guess maybe life. This reminds me of like magic, the little life counters. So it looks like you do have life and it looks like stats and stuff. Interesting. Um, let's go ahead and open this. Let's check this out. I wonder if it comes like with a mat or something like uh, some of the card games do. So the new ones where they come with mats and probably instructions how to play the um, yeah, this looks like life. Yeah, what's the max life? Oh. Goes past 20, 30. 30, looks like 30 goes past 30. Interesting. Flimsy. But it means something to just track your your life. I'm pretty sure there's probably a mobile app for that too. Um, two plastics. So here's these two items. It looks like buffs. Debuffs and maybe stats. I'm not sure. Ward, uh, sale, intimidate, bane, or some. I don't know. It reminds me of MMO. So maybe you get to put debuffs and buffs on yourself and uh, your opponent. I don't know. We got these two here. Let's open this one first. This looks like the actual map. Play map. Here we go. Oh, I probably cannot see it real. I have to pan the camera out. But it looks like you got a banish side, evolve. Evolve is an interesting mechanic. I think you can evolve your cards into something stronger, do something different. Leader, deck, cemetery. This is called cemetery. 
field ex area and this is play points I'm not sure what those are about i think there's like the mana cost system i think so there's that and the last paper piece in the deck you get okay this is how to how to play so they at least give you a manual how to play the card game which i will have to read and get myself familiar with just in case i do want to pick up the other starter decks to showcase i can maybe explain a little bit more how it's played and what, what we're looking at so kind of cool this is some of the cards i said the art aside side game makes some made some beautiful art to these cards so i'm pretty excited about that so maybe just collect this for fun so who knows all right let me see if i can figure out how to put this back together okay it's not going back together how it was so maybe because i'm supposed to like okay return to the side i can't figure it out it's over <laughs> all right let's move forward the decks here we go runecraft now this is nice so we got the plastic that holds it does this have like a yep i already feel it just kind of have to like oh it taped itself oh nice and simple here's the back of the cars this looks nice okay there's no like feel engraving what the heck look how thick this card is that's so thick wow i've never are they all thick no okay these are not really thick okay these last few past these white cards oh i like the white oh man they should have done white this is crazy nice this is beautiful these last few are actually super thick i guess we'll get to those we'll leave them in the back all right mysteries of conjuration let's check out the cards uh, this is mithril golem um wow is it just my eyes and i'm just tired or this looks kind of 3d or engraved the the way this looks i think it's just my the way they made the car it looks like it's in there it's weird i'll read what this does i honestly don't know what i'm reading uh this car looks like it does three deal three damage to each enemy fall follower on the field spell chain seven deal five damage instead sc i don't know what that is 15 deal five damage to each enemy leader if you have at least seven spells in your cemetery perform spell chain seven then if you have at least 15 spells perform sc 15 so i guess that's the requirement to activate deal five damage instead and deal five damage to an enemy leader now if i remember correctly like i was saying earlier runecraft deals with spells so the more spells you use and i guess around the cemetery the more damage you deal it's kind of interesting it reminds me of the the mage style or mage starter deck from a uh, grand archive um so this starter deck comes with three of these mithril golems these are the foils looks pretty the art looks great too looks very nice um put that there oh she looks nice who are you room blade summoner i'm guessing that's the cost at the top of the corner three and maybe this is a okay, defense and attack. I guess that's what I'm guessing. This does a spell chain of five. Give this follower plus four, plus four. SC10, give this follower storm. If you have at least five spells in your cemetery, perform spell chain five. Then if you have at least 10 spells, perform SC10. So I'm understanding the numbers. You get three of these. It looks nice though. It looks like nice artwork. Very nice. Put that there. Now these, okay, so it looks like those are the two foil type cards. Everything else is non foil. So let's go through them. These seem to have smaller effects, but here we have Demon Flame Mage. Evolve this follower. That's all it says. Three on three. Get three of these. We got Insight. This is a spell card. Okay, so followers. Okay, so in this card game, maybe followers are. Which you use as quote unquote monsters or characters. Here's a spell called Inside. Draw a card, quick. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. The cost of one. We have Fire Chain spell. Uh, quick. Uh, I'm gonna assume quick is 
I'm familiar with Grand Archive. Quick, maybe fast spell cards. Anytime, maybe. Um, select up to two enemy followers on the field and deal three damage divided between them. Okay. So damage. Then we've got, it looks like a follower. So here's another like a character card. Lightning Shooter. Select an enemy follower on the field. Deal it two damage. Spell chain 5, deal 4 damage instead. SC 10, deal 2 damage to the follower's leader. If you have at least 5 spell cards in your cemetery before, spell chain 5. If you have 10, perform the SC 10. I don't know what any of that means, but hopefully I get myself familiar with it and one day maybe explain a bit better. Hey, we got a penguin wizard. This looks nice. This is pretty funny. Imagine the powerfulest wizard, a penguin. Uh, evolve this follower. And it says discard a spell, draw a card. Okay. You get, so far, it looks like you get three and three. So it's been three. I don't know what's the max copy. I'm going to assume four like every card game, but it could be three. Oh, this is nice. This is a colorful card. This is cool. Sammy, Wizard's Apprentice. <laughs> I like the name. It's like simple. Evolve this follower. Maybe two. Maybe it takes two. Maybe it's just that two reminds me of the point system. So maybe that points is like maybe an evolution cost. I don't know. Uh, F, look at the top card of your deck you may put it into your cemetery holy moly okay we're trashing things you get three sammy wizards or apprentice wind blast this looks cool i like the art it looks very nice wind blast is a spell select an enemy fall on the field deal it two damage spell chain 10 deal four damage instead if you have at least 10 spell cards in your cemetery excluding this card perform spell chain 10 so if you have 10 spell cards, you do more damage. So it looks like the more spells you have in the cemetery, your trash, your graveyard, the more damage you do. And of course, you get three of these, right? Oh, you get two of these this time. Okay, getting less and less now, huh? Sorcery, cache. Quick, look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a spell card, or sorry, a spell from among them and add it to your hand. You may also put a spell in your, to your cemetery. Put the remaining cards on the bottom of your deck in order. Okay, so this one puts everything in the bottom. You can grab a spell and to put them in your trash. You get two of these. Man, I really like the art. Like I tell you, man, the art in this card game is very, very nice. Look at this. Fiery Embrace. Another spell card. Select the enemy follower on the field. Destroy a spell chain 10. Deal three additional. Sorry, three that deal three damage to the follower's leader. If you have at least 10 spell cards in your cemetery. You got two of these. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of heavy spell cards. So I don't see much more of the uh like Characters or followers. Magic Missile. Select an enemy follower on the field. Deal it two damage and draw a card. You get three of these. You get to draw a card. That's nice. Conjure Golem. Spell an Alchemist. Quick. Put a Guardian. Sorry. A Guard Form Golem. Or a Strike Form Golem. Token into your EX area. Two. Follower. Ward and Rush. Huh, I wonder if they have summoning sickness in this card game too. I think they do actually. If I remember correctly. Again, it's been a long time I played the mobile version. You get three of these. Healing Angel. Evolve this follower and give your leader plus one shield. Okay. This is a actual follower. This is not a spell. Another spell. Angelic Snipe. That's cool. Select the enemy follower on the field and deal it two damage. Okay. So damage spell. Another spell. Angelic Barrage. Deal one damage to each enemy follower on the field. That's cool. Yeah, it totally reminds me of the Grand Archive uh, Mage deck. Just using spells to deal damage and damage. Like, barely any, like, oh man, what do they call them? Allies in that card game, I think? Demon Mage Evolved. Okay, so these are evolved versions of the cards. Oh, here's the Demon Mage, right? Okay, so that's what I guess what it means by the one here. Evolve. So you use the one point to evolve into this. Interesting. I remember something like that, but I just, again, I don't remember the card game. It was a long time ago. Um, unevolved, deal two damage to each enemy follower on the field. Ooh, cool. So when you evolve, you get to do some type of effect. You get three of these. This looks cool. Any other evolved? Oh, here we go. Oh, yo, the penguin evolves. You know, that's pretty sick. Evolve, unevolve, refresh this card, discard a spell, draw a card. Penguin wizard. Yo. A deck full of penguins. Imagine that. Get three of these. Oh, Sammy Evolve. Sammy Wizard's Apprentice. On Evolve, each player draws a card. Oh, both of us? Well, that's generous. Okay. I like the art. Pretty pretty. Healing Angel Evolves. Um, on Evolve, give your leader 
plus two. Okay. Now we get one of these. Now, are we into it yet? No, I don't think so. We're almost there to the thick cards, but I don't know what this is. At the start of the game, the player who goes second has three evolution points. Oh, you can use an evolution point toward playing an E cost by flipping this card over so that the card back is showing. An evolution point is equal to one play point. On only one evolution point can be used per evolution. Okay, I thought the back would be different. So we have three evolution cards. Makes sense as it says has three evolution points. So you have the three points. Hmm. Okay, evolution cards. And oh, our leader. So we have like a leader. Um but that's I don't think that's focused very well. On camera. There we go. This is Isabel. This is the Ruin Craft Mage, I guess. Wait, is this two cards or just thick? Oh, I think we're in the thick of things now. Alright, here is actually the thick. Holy moly. Is it really thick or is it just stuck together? Look, I don't want to make a mistake, but look, it looks like two cards put together a little bit. Compared to the rest. Okay, this is just one card, I guess. I'm not going to mess with it too much. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's one card. I'm not going to touch it. It is what it is. Here's our leader. You get a leader, Isabel. Isabel. Uh, here's the rest of the thick cards. I don't know what these are for. Um, This card gains a rush. Strike. Oh, these are like the tokens from that one card. Yeah, strike from golems. Holy moly, there's a bunch of strike from golems and guard form golems. See, they're tokens. Okay. Uh, what is, I guess, rush? It's just like. For my mistaken followers, but the rush can attack enemy followers in the turn they're put on the field. So these cards do get this card game. You do get this. I guess summoning sickness, war. This follower can be in, engaged when it's put onto your field or during your end phase. When followers with war are engaged, your opponent can only attack them. Oh, so it's like a blocker or like a forced blocker. You have to attack this. It's a guardian of some sorts. It's cool. So these are tokens. The thick cards are tokens, along with the leader card. Well, that's actually the Ruincraft starter deck, Mysteries of Conjuration. Pretty interesting. Um, I think I've grown to understand a little bit more card games as I've dived into other ones. So I seem to quite understand this a bit. I just need to understand. Like, I can follow directions. I just need to understand the SC spell chains. I don't know if it's that simple as, 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 you know, you have to have that many things in your graveyard spells to use the abilities or do more damage, I should say. But yeah, this deck revolves with a lot of spell cards, a few characters or followers, as this card game calls them. Bunch of spells, which is nice. Pretty cool. It seems like a fun deck. Spell-based. Like I say, it reminds me of Mage Grand Archive, which I had actually fun pretty... I had fun playing with the, uh, the card, or the deck, I should say. Now we're going to move on to the Dragoncraft, Wrath of the Great Worm. Let's check it out. Now I feel like this one's going to be up my alley. From the way one of the guys was explained to me, this is literally just, it's like a ramp up type deck. They just literally just play big things for like little cost. Something like that. Why is this like... Giving me issue, huh? There you go. Shoot. Alright, deck number two. I'm pretty sure it's going to come with the same things, minus the different cards, right? And these starter decks do have exclusive cards that do not come in the uh, booster box set. So I'll just kind of want to throw that out there. Same plastic things to start to play. Open this up here. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Fan Fafnir. Ooh, I like the name already. Okay. 
Yeah, ma. Oh, this is really taped up. Or, huh. Okay. Super taped up. All right. Well, this one didn't seem to. Okay. Well, it still worked out. All right. Dragon Craft. So the foil cards. Really cool art. Actually, this dragon looks pretty sick. This is very nice. Um, I'm assuming again this is a cost of eight. Look at those numbers. Seven and eight. So I'm guessing it has eight defense or life with seven attack, maybe. That's a big hitter. And its ability deal five damage to each enemy follower on the field. That seems like a lot of damage. This thing just does big damage. Cool. Looks like you get three of these. We have to figure out if you don't you can only use like four or three of these copies. So that way I can understand if I need to make another, another, get another copy of the Star Deck or not. Uh, we got Dragon Oracle. Oh, here's the other foil. So you can't really see it because it blends in with a dark uh, illustration. But, oh, this is a spell card. Choose one of the following effects. One, increase your maximum play points by one. Two, draw a card. Okay. I guess this is what helps you rank up your points to maybe play some big stuff quicker. That's the foil and okay, that's it with the foils. Move it into the rest of the deck. Dragon Warrior, evolve this follower. That's about it. Not much else. This looks cool though. I think I'm gonna like this deck. These already look cool. I like dragons themselves, so this is pretty cool. This is nice. Three of the Dragon Warrior. Dragnoot Princess. Okay. If Overflow is active for you, select the enemy follower on the field and deal it for damage. Man, Overflow becomes active if your maximum number of play points is at least 7. Then you have 7. Okay. Follower. Dragonute slash Princess. Three of these. Well, this dude's riding the dragon with a spear? Heck yeah. Dragon Guard. This has Ward. Um, So things, I guess, I'm assuming again Ward means they have to attack this guy. Like he's like your defender. If overflow is active for you, give this follower plus two plus two. Oh, more more power. Nice. It's another follower. You get three of these. Another follower. See, this has more followers than spells so far, you know. Fire lizard. Select an enemy leader or enemy follower on the field and deal if one damage. I like that everything just summon, deal damage. You get two of these. Okay. Ooh, this looks pretty cool. Dread Dragon. Now, this reminds me of a Yu Gi Oh card. I'm not going to lie. Select an enemy follower on the field and deal, deal it seven damage. Holy moly. That's oh, a big boy, too. Hmm. We get Rock. This isn't a dragon, but evolve zero. So you need zero. Evolve this follower. Strike. Give this follower plus one. Okay. Oh. This was like some type of Elden Ring dragon. Glint dragon, huh? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Anyways, select an enemy follower on the field and deal it three damage. Dude, it just deals damage. Summon something, deal damage. That's nice. I like that. Dragon Rider, evolve this follower. F. If overflow is active for you, put a dragon token into your EX area. Dragon token follower, 5-5. Five, five. Dragon Rider, nice. It's like a dinosaur though, huh? This dinosaur is also considered dragon. So you get three of these. C brand dragon. Ooh. If overflow is active for you, give this follower storm. Followers with storm can attack enemy followers and leaders on the turn they're put into your field or put onto your field. Oh, it's like a rush, huh? Interesting. Well, the art's cool. It's like a dragon. Look, the little mermaid. The mermaid's around here. That's, that's pretty cool. You get uh, three of these. Sorry. And blazing breath. Okay, this is a spell card. Quick spell card. Select an enemy follower on the field and deal it 2 damage. If overflow is active for you, deal 4 damage instead. Overflow becomes active if your maximum number of play costs is at least 7. So, kind of already confirmed, for overflow you need at least 7 points. And this just deals damage. So you either do 2 damage or 4 damage. You get 2 of these. Dragon Wings. Deal 2 damage each follower in the field. If overflow is active for you, deal 3 damage instead. Okay. All the, all the spell cards deal damage. Now we have Goliath, a follower. Evolve this follower. Okay. You get two Goliaths. 
Oh, this is nice. Angelic Sword Maiden? You're not a dragon at all. This is not even a dragon craft symbol, actually. Look, here's a dragon craft symbol. There's that. I wonder if this just means normal, which is like a normal card. Um, hmm. This one has ward. So again, the follower in this follower can be engaged when it's put into your field or during your end phase. When followers with ward are engaged, your opponent can only attack them. So these are like defenders. They're um taunters. Um hold the aggro. Okay. Hmm. It has a B. Are these the rarities? Bs? Just notice that. S B. Hmm, maybe that's what it is. You gonna get one of her? Okay. Angelic Snipe. Oh. Interesting. Got another we got Angelic Snipe in this deck too. Select an enemy fall on the field, deal it two damage. Is this different color or is it just my imagination? I'll probably go back to look at it real quick. Okay, we're in the evolve section. So this is Dragon Warrior Evolve. On Evolve, select an enemy fall on the field and deal it three damage. More damage. This looks sick. I like Dragon Warrior. It looks really cool. Dang, the art looks great in this card game. Rock evolves. Ooh, like the Phoenix. Give this follower plus one plus one. Strike. They get three of these. Dragon Rider evolves. On evolve, if overflow is active for you, give this follower plus two. You get three of these. And the last one is Goliath evolve. It looks pretty cool. Nice. No real effect. It's just evolving them. I think it's just evolving them to do bigger damage. Let me see, five, six versus, where's the regular guy? Three, four, yep, they do more damage. So that's actually that. Um, I'm gonna count these here just to kind of understand the card count for the deck. I guess you get the same three points. Here is the leader card, Rowan. Looks cool. It's got a spear sword, I like that. Thick cards. Now, here are the rest of the thick cards, and I guess these are like tokens, right? Ah, see, yeah, at the bottom says token. Maybe I missed that on the other ones, but token, dragon tokens. Up to literally five dragon tokens and blanks. Hmm. I don't know why these are blanks. Maybe you can just make them as whatever for if you need anything else, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Now, let me back look into this. Let me get Angelic Sniper real quick. This is the same style. Let me see here, Angelic Sniper and this Angelic Sniper. Yeah, no, same style. I don't know why I thought it looked different in this deck than this this one here. Actually, but shouldn't we just put the leaders in front of it? Do that, do that. Grab this leader here. Boom, boom. That is going to be the availing and unboxing. Oh, you can't even see it because it's on the other side. Hey, ha -ha. Bam! Here, can we do this? Yeah, we can do that. I don't know why I'm showing this in this way, but just to show you a little bit about it. Okay. That's going to be the unboxing of these two starter decks from the Shadowverse. Evolve TCG. Card game seems interesting, and so far, the Ruin Craft. Use a bunch of spell cards, and the more you have in the graveyard, do even more damage. Dragons in their hand, big damage. It just every time they're summoned, just deal damage, deal damage. Like this is my kind of deck right here. And they're dragons. Seems really cool. This is actually might be a very interesting card game to try out. And just wanted to showcase, show you guys. Again, I am I was interested in this TCG, so I kind of wanted to share it and spread the word of Shadowverse Evolve. And maybe this might be something you're interested in or even give it a try. What do y'all think about Shadowverse? Is this something you're looking forward to? Have you ever heard of it? you ever tried the mobile game? What do y'all think about it? What do you think about the art of the cards? I think I will go ahead and, of course, showcase the booster box and check out the rest of the set. So at least, you know, we can at least showcase and check out the first set of Shadowverse Evolve. I still don't know yet if I'm going to go ahead and collect the other decks. I might. Um, because they are different classes, so different play styles per class. And it's all about finding the class that you enjoy playing or what, what works for you, right? Or even just trying them all out. So please look forward to that. And if you all made it through 
I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Please, if you enjoy, subscribe, like the video, support the channel, join the crew for more TCG content and opening. And let me know what y'all think about Shadow and Verse Evolve. And until next time, smooth sailing.